Good morning, children. Today we will start a new chapter, chapter 12, the Earth and the Solar System. The Earth and the Solar System. Children, in this chapter we will discuss about the Sun and planets. What about the Sun? Okay, and plan and the planets. They form our solar system. Okay, and we will discuss about what is the inside of the earth is like or how our earth inside the earth is like looking like and we will differentiate between the two moment two moments of the earth okay so children and how a uh, day and night and seasons are cause or occurs okay children so first children we will discuss about the stars and the sun okay a star is a huge ball of hot glowing gases it gives out heat and light okay that's why they give light the sun is also a star it is the nearest to us the sun is like a star all the stars also give us light but sun is nearest to us that's why we feel the sunshine on the rays of the sun okay that is why it appears to be compared to the other stars. All stars other than the sun appear as twinkling spots of light in the night sky. When we see the night sky, we see so many twinkling stars on the sky. Okay, They cannot be seen during the day because of the light from the sun. Okay, Without the sun's heat and light, the earth would be very cold. There would be no life on the earth. Okay, so uh, sunshine or the sunlight is very important. Next, children, we will discuss about the planets and the solar system. Okay, a planet is a large heavenly body that goes around a star. It does not give out its own heat and light. Our earth is a planet. The earth and Seven other planets moves around the sun. The eight planets in order of increasing distance from the sun are as follows. What are these? What are the other planets? We will name one by one. <coughs> First one is Mercury, closest to the sun. Then Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Neptune is farthest from the sun. Okay. You can see some of the planets as pretty points of light in the night sky. They do not twinkling because they are closer to the earth than the stars. These planets, these planets move around the sun in a fixed path called orbits. Six of these planets have smaller objects that is called the moon. Moon, it is the natural satellite of the planets. Our earth has only one moon. Mercury and Venus do not have any moons. The sun, the planets and their moons belongs to a family of objects. The sun, the planets and the moons belongs to a family of objects and this called the solar system. Okay children, so what is the solar system? Or the sun, the planets and their moons belongs to a family of objects called, called the solar system. Then next we will discuss about some facts about the planets. Okay, so children Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars which are close to the sun are called the inner planets. They are made up of rocks. So Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars very close to the sun and they are called inner planets. Next we will discuss about Mercury. Mercury the planet nearest to the sun. It is nearest to the sun and it is very hot during the day and very cold at night. It has no moons, means no satellite, natural satellite. There is very little air around Mercury. Okay. So next we will discuss about Venus. Venus is the hottest planet. It is the planet planet closest to this earth. It is also closest to it is closest to earth. It shines and the brightness among all planets. 
it can be seen in the morning and evening hence it is often called the morning star or the evening star okay venus also does not have any moon it has also no moon means no set natural satellite so next class we will discuss about other planets till then bye bye and take care Thank you.